All right, here we are, the final, the final video in the project. So the project is done. The project was done in the last video. All this video is about is just confirming for ourselves and satisfying us, satisfying ourselves that um, we don't have any errors in our code. And uh, so it's always a good idea to have some validation exercises uh, at the end of any code you write. Now you mightn't keep this uh, validation code within your sort of final notebook uh, because it's, you know, it's, it's not relevant for every example. Um, or every analysis you're going to do, uh, but we'll we'll have it in here. So it'll be in the notebook that you can download as part of this project over on degreetutors.com. Uh, but feel free to get rid of it uh, and delete it from your notebook if you uh, if you don't need it. All right, so let's just get on with it here. So what are we trying to do? Right, we're trying to plot the same deflection uh, using Macaulay's method and then plot on top of that this deflection here. So if I go back over to our post, right, this was our post where we did this uh, did this analysis using Macaulay's method and helpfully in that post we have all of the code we need in order to use this equation so what this code does is basically it takes this equation and it generates for all of the values of x along our along our beam it generates a value for deflection so that's what this code does so that's the first thing we're going to do we're going to bring that code or most of it at least, um, the bit from here, from line nine, cycle through the structure and calculate deflection at each point, from line nine down, we're gonna bring over directly into our notebook. So let's do that next. Okay, so that's just the code copy, copied and pasted in there. So we have uh, essentially defined a new range of values called deflection underscore test. And deflection underscore test is going to be the analytical solution or the solution using Macaulay's method. So let's just run that. Make sure it works, seems to work okay. All right, and next we can just do some plotting because remember we have all of our deflection values from our numerical solution already calculated. They were used to plot this guy here. So next we can start thinking about doing some plotting. And again, I'm going to uh, bring a lot of the uh, a lot of the plotting code copy and paste it in because uh, there's no uh, there's no magic going on here. Um, it's just fairly basic stuff. So we're going to define a layout function again. This can all be identical, the exact same as we had above. Next, we're going to define the uh, the Macaulay's method deflection. So what I've done is I've said I've said line underscore Macaulay is equal to geo dot scatter. Same thing again. It's just that instead of deflection, we've got deflection test, and then we can have we can have line numerical equal to the exact same thing, except this is just going to be deflection. Okay, so you'll notice when I defined these two lines, I left out the uh, fill color, so I don't need any fill. I don't want any fill. Uh, between the deflected shape and the horizontal axis in either case. So I just removed those lines of code. And then we're gonna define our axis the same way the, the horizontal line representing the beam, the same way we did previously. And then we can go ahead and call our plotting again. So instead, uh, yeah, let me just uh, bring this in as well because we've seen this already. So the same code we saw previously, it's just this time we're passing in line underscore Macaulay and line underscore numerical and indeed the axis again. And we're then passing layout equal to layout. So now we should run this guy and we should get two lines. So the, one of the nice things about Plotly is that you get a little legend over here and by clicking on this legend, you can hide uh, the various different lines. So if I want to hide the numerical solution, I'm just left with the uh, Macaulay's method solution and you can see straight away, that's a valid that's a valid result. It's, it's our validation there in front of you. The numerical solution is lying almost exactly on top of uh, the Macaulay's method analytical solution. So if I get rid of both of them, we've got no deflection. Click on this guy, we've got the deflection due to Macaulay's method, the analytical solution, and then click on this guy, and we have the numerical deflection overlaid on top. So there you have it, that is your validation exercise, and you can repeat that process. And in fact, one of the things you might do is jump over here and put, I won't do it now for this video because, um, well, we've demonstrated the point, but the other, the other beam that we analyzed was the first structure here, which was, where is it? This guy, you could plug that guy into your calculator notebook. And of course you've got the code because we did a Macaulay's method analysis for that guy too. And there is your code to generate your deflected shape 
uh, in this in this code block here. So you could bring that over into your notebook and do another validation exercise and you should see that your numerical solution lies directly on top of your analytical solution. So there you have it. That's it. Our calculator is finished and validated. So a nice little project. Um, I think it was a nice little project. Uh, it's a handy little tool you have now. So you have a notebook to, to generate uh, shear force diagrams, bending moment diagrams and deflected shapes for uh, simply supported beams with the added little uh, nugget of information that this technique for calculating the deflection that we've implemented in this project uh, can be used for any kind of beam. It doesn't have to be a statically determinate beam. All it requires is that you have the value of bending moment at a fixed uh, set of increments along your, uh, along your beam. Once you've got that, you can apply the exact same algorithm to work out your deflected shape. Right, so we leave it there. Don't forget, you can download all of the code, either write the code yourself as you as you watch the videos, or you can download this finished notebook uh, over on degreetutors.com uh, in the uh, in the from the post from within the post related to this project. And so, if you're watching this on YouTube, that's going to be linked below the video. And if you're watching this directly uh, on degreetutors.com, well, you're already looking at the post uh, that you need to be looking at the blog post. Uh, from which you can enroll in the project for free and download the code. Right, enough said, we leave it there. Until the next one, take it easy, folks.